super excited. You are on the way to do great things in life and I get to solve this equation with you. Here we go. When you see the parentheses, get rid of them. When you see a negative sign in front of the parentheses and there is no number, write a 1 in here. And now you have negative 1 times everything inside the parentheses. So you can use the distributive property. So you will take negative 1 and multiply it by 3 and by negative 4x. Let's do it. So bring down 8x. And now negative 1 times 3 will be negative 3. Write your negative signs long enough so they stand out. Negative 1 times negative 4x will be positive 4x. And on the right we will have 6. Now let's look for like terms. We can add our x's together because 8x and 4x are like terms. So 8x plus 4x will give us 12x. Let's bring down negative 3. And on the right we will have 6. We need to get x all by itself. So we need to get rid of this 3. Here we are subtracting 3. So we will do the opposite. We will add 3 to both sides. We will have 12x. And this 3 will be now gone because negative 3 plus 3 will give us 0. And on the right we will have 6 plus 3 will be 9. To get x all by itself we need to get rid of this 12. Here we are multiplying x by 12. So we will do the opposite. We will divide both sides by 12. 12x divided by 12 will be 1x. It's exactly what we need. And it looks like we are going to have a fraction. So x equals 9 twelfths. We need to reduce this fraction because 9 and 12 can be divided by 3. So we are dividing numerator by 3 and denominator by 3. So 9 divided by 3 is 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So our x equals 3 fourths. And that's our answer. You did it. Nice job today. Keep up your good work and I will see you next time.